Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So I don't know if you guys recognize this, but it's Jack and Sally um, at 22 inches wide and 37 inches long. And <laughs> I'm looking at all these thin pieces. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know how we're gonna do this with the foam board. Um, I, we're definitely going to piece it together because no matter what, we're, you know, all the pieces are cut. I think just off the top of my head, I think that we will try to do foam board, obviously for Sally, because Sally's pretty solid. That'll be easy to cut. I think we're going to do this part foam, this part foam, and then down here, I'm almost tempted to say like, maybe we'll do dowel sticks or like the wooden dowels or even straws just so that i mean thankfully we did the glitter black um cardstock because that's going to give it a little bit more stability and then i think that's the only way because this is so thin i don't even know if it's worth trying to cut the foam board this thin because the foam board will also be very flimsy but we'll try we'll see at the end now because it's 37 inches and it, it's <laughs> he's thin and we've got lots of cuts going on normally i would flip everything over at one time and start taping it but honestly i don't even think i can get my mind wrapped around this so i'm gonna just tape pieces at a time okay because i don't think my head can handle can handle this backwards um okay so the what you want to do is you want to flip it over and you want to tape from behind because everything else is going to sit on top of this which reminds me because it's glitter black glitter cardstock. We're going to be using tape and a little bit of glue. I'm going to use my glue gun. Okay. So, um, after I tape this up, we're going to plug in our glue gun and get started on that. All right. So I'm taping the foot right here. I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to push it against this piece to try to make it as seamless as possible. And then I'm just going to tape it down and the excess tape i'm just going to cut off and i'm going to try to put the tape right at the edge so that this does not move at all okay so that's one piece it goes right here so i'm going to i'm going to flip this over and i'm going to tape it to this thing my mind i'm losing it right now <laughs> this is puzzles um to a more difficult degree than I would prefer. So I'm gonna push these two up against each other like this, and then I'm going to tape it. Okay. okay. And I wanna give this stability, it's just, um, okay, so we've got where does this go? This goes here, this goes here. Okay, so I'm flipping this over, flipping this over. So this may take a little bit longer because I'm not doing it the way I normally would because I think if I flipped this all over, I'm going to tape to the wrong pieces. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm gonna get this as close as possible. I'm gonna tape the back of it. And I don't even know where I'm gonna put this piece, but this piece is making me really nervous because of how thin he is. Um, I Like I said, I definitely recommend doing the black in, with black glitter cardstock because he it, there's gonna be so many seams for him and um, the black glitter cardstock will actually hide the seams. So. In this case, there's two reasons. That's the first reason. The second reason is that he is so thin that I definitely want to use black glitter cardstock just to make it a little bit more stable and sturdy. Okay. All right, so I got the elbow down. I'm beginning to think that me, okay, so, you know, I'm gonna do this piece here first. So let me move this up. I'm gonna tape this down. And I've done this before where with the black glitter cardstock, well, actually I think I did it in a different color, but what you could do is if you find that it 
it does show because it's white core right and then the back is white so sometimes you can see a little bit of the white um, what you can do is use a little bit of this liquid glue run it along the seams and then pour glitter cardstock down but or your other option this is the option that I prefer is to take your black pen and run it down oops and you know what my tape went through right here do you see it you can see it through here, right? So you wanna make sure that your tape does not extend past the cardstock. I usually know better, but I didn't notice that. Okay, so let me tape that down. Okay, so this piece is on. over here perfect okay so I'm gonna flip this over and put this together um, where does it go like hold on Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna line this up. This is a straight line right here. Okay, so this, okay, so this lined up perfectly. And I like this image because other than the black, which obviously there's so much black on this on this um, image, everything else, even though at 37 inches, is seamless, including her red hair. So everything else should look amazing on this thing. I think with using the black glitter cardstock that we can get this to look very, very, very seamless. Okay, let's see if I can piece this together now that it's mostly done. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so let's get this down. Oh, my fingers got. Okay. And this little tip right here is super thin, so I definitely do want to run my tape all along there. Okay. And we're almost done, then we can get to the fun part of putting down the rest of it so that this piece comes to life. All right. And we're almost done. So you can see I'm pushing these two pieces together as I'm taping it just so that there's no gaps. And so it's gonna look hopefully as seamless as possible. Okay, I think it's all taped up. So you can kind of see what it looks like on this side. And now I'm gonna Flip it over. And he looks pretty good. I think where you can see it is right here, but it when it's flat down, let me, when it's flat down, which it's going to be, because it's gonna be um, glued to a foam board, you're not gonna see it. It's because there's a little bit of give like on my mat and it's bending up a little bit and that's when you can see the seams. But like I said, once it's pressed down, 
you're not going to be able to see that seam anymore. And that's the same right here. So, all right. Now let's put on all our colored pieces. Let me plug in the glue gun. hot mess over here. We're getting ready for Christmas. I hope you guys are too. It just feels like my craft room is a Santa's workshop. It's got gifts to be wrapped. It's got crafts to be done. Um, okay, so I turned it on. This glue gun, I get so many comments on it. It is Lynn Lily by Surebonder. So you can buy it on the Surebonder website. They have another one. This color is always out of stock because it's so stinking cute, right? Um, they have a similar one, exactly the same, just a different color. I think it's in black. I have that one as well, just in case this one ever breaks down on me. But I love it because it has a little glue catcher. It's a stand, so it's cordless. And so it's just perfect. All right, so I'm gonna put that down. I'm, while that's warming up, here are all our pieces, okay? So I, okay, you know I buy all my glitter cardstock on Cricut. Cricut is killing me right now. The colors are always out of stock. So, why does it look so dark in here? Does it look dark? Okay. Um, ooh, it's weird. Um, so anyway, I had to go look for a different supplier for cards, um, glitter cardstock, and I found one, and I love it. It's Ground Up Creations, so www groundupcreations.com. The cardstock is beautiful. First I had, um, oh, you know what? I have it right here. Give me one second. This is Cricut Red and this is Ground Up Creations. They are almost identical. What's different? The Ground Up Creations cut so much better. It didn't shed as much and it's thick. I don't know if you can tell from this. This is a little bit flimsier, which um, normally it's not a big deal, but if you're doing cake toppers, this one, I mean, I just love it. It's, it peels off. It feels kind of like, um, like uh, the infusible ink sheets. So that's kind of, so I have this color, this color and the gold. So it gives me a different shade, which I like. Um, and I love the quality. So just wanted to throw that out there in case you're, you don't have, um, your supply is low, like mine is for some of this stuff. All right, so I'm gonna put this down. We're gonna do the hair first. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'll put it on this side. Okay, so look at this. This is her hair and it's all one piece. And if you remember, so the way this piece of hair is, it goes like this. So when you first look at this in design space, this piece is too long. It's like 14 inches or something like that. But when you tilt it, so I didn't have to slice it out at all, slice it at all. If you tilt it, then you are able to get um, different dimensions and it was able to cut. So, okay, here. Let me see how this goes. Okay, and then this piece is somewhere in the arms. This is down here. Okay, this is somewhere over here. All right, let's see what else we can do. Here is her. Now, it's supposed to be purple, but I used this pink because it was so pretty. <laughs> I know, just let's see if I can figure this out. So this goes on top. Somewhere over, I don't know. Okay, something like this, and then her sleeve. So her sleeve is, oh, there. There's her sleeve, okay. There's a little clues here and there, right? Is this coming together? Um, maybe we did her face. Why isn't her face fitting in? Um, does this go up somewhere? Maybe because it's like that. <laughs> All right, here we go. And 
this goes in between. Okay, so definitely right now, I would not recommend gluing it as you piece it because you can see like, uh, I am unfamiliar with this piece. This is the first time that I'm piecing it together. So I definitely, even when I know the piece though, I like to put everything down and um, make my adjustments and then glue things down. So I highly recommend that process. <laughs> Otherwise you're gonna have a very, um, crooked piece at the end and you're not going to be happy so all right this goes something like this oh it's so pretty <laughs> all right um i did mix um cardstock with glitter cardstock because i didn't have all the colors that i wanted oh what happened here okay so this didn't cut all the way through. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, let's see. It's not that many colors. It's like a handful of pieces. So what is this? I am so bad at this. What piece is this? It looks... Oh, it's her leg. I think. That doesn't look right, does it? There. <laughs> All right. This is her... And actually, and the funny thing is, I'm pretty good at math. I'm just horrible at this. <laughs> okay, let's see. This way. Yeah, this one we're gonna need to readjust um, once we get everything together. So let's see, this goes like, I'm gonna blame it that everything is sideways. <laughs> That's gonna be my excuse anyway. Um, all right, so this goes like this. Is it this way? <laughs> All right, it's gonna be really silent while I piece these things together. Um, okay, so that's the legs. This is now, I have the arm. I think it goes like this. This is her little sleeve. So this color and her skin, can you see? I don't think you can even see the difference. There is a slight difference between her skin color and this, but right now when I'm looking on camera, I'm not seeing that difference. But just know that in person, it is different. Okay, here we go. So her hands, this one is up here. Okay, we're almost there. Her neck. This little piece. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, right here. That doesn't look right. What piece is that? Oh. Am I missing some pieces? Let's see. Oh, what? This is her arm. And then a 
a small little piece for her arm. I feel like I'm holding it. Oh, it's this one. Maybe here you, oh no, you can't even see on camera. I was gonna say that there's a difference between these two colors, but barely, okay. Um, now I have her, this is her neck piece. And then, why doesn't this piece look like it works for me? There. All right. Um, this goes down here. So these two go together like that somewhere over here. Let's see. This one, oh. Sorry guys, so bad. Okay, here we go. I think it's something like this. Mm, this doesn't make any sense, hold on. Oh, like this. I'm getting there. I know it's painful. Okay. That's her dress. Now all we have left is him. All right, so here are the white pieces. Oh my. Okay, this. Oh, like it's so small, I can't even tell what it is. Man, so I don't recommend making this that much smaller because he's so skinny. I mean, look at, that's his chest piece. It's not that big. Um, let's see, okay, these are her eyes. So this one. And his hands, if you watch the design space tutorial, his hand is like this, and then this piece right here is in four pieces. And I am so thankful at this time that I welded everything because those four pieces would have been tiny. So I definitely prefer that little thing that I've got going on over there. <laughs> um, all right, so there's just a few more pieces, a few more details. This goes right here. So you can see right here had a seam somewhere, but all that color is um, is covering it. So it's looking pretty seamless from where I'm standing and looking down. So I'm actually really, really thrilled about this. All right, let's see. Got his neck. And then we have these little, little cutouts all over. Um. Yeah, I didn't love these pieces, but I felt like I couldn't do anything about it. So he's got, I mean, this is it. It's just right around here. It's just a matter of picking the right ones at this point. So let me see. I think some of these are from like his nose and they don't belong here. So let's see. It goes something like this. This one goes over here. I 
think we're done. Oh my gosh. I think it looks awesome. I'm not even, I don't even know this movie, but I am really liking the way this looks. And I'm not even invested in this story, but. All right, so now is a good time to readjust everything. Make sure you like the line, the, the lineup of it all. And then we're gonna slowly glue, tape everything down. So on this one, I mean, the, the glitter cardstock can withstand the glue. These light pieces, we're gonna have to just tape it down, like tape the heck out of it because the glue is definitely gonna show through, so we're not gonna want that at all. Um, okay, so these I'm gonna throw away. Those are extras, right? Yep. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside. I am going to take this, I think the hand, everything looks good there. I'm trying to look on camera too to see what needs to be adjusted. That looks pretty good. Okay, so let's start gluing down this stuff. Um, I'm gonna take this piece. These are the more obvious places. So I'm just going to glue it down. I think I'm gonna glue down the white pieces first. So, oh, that's where these little two, two guys go. I was missing, hold on, it goes up here. Actually, that feels a little bit. Are those the right pieces? I bet this one of these is more like it. I don't know. That one feels a little chubby. I'm gonna pull this one out. So he's got, oh, wait a minute. He's got one right there. Oh wait, there's a line right here. Okay, so these pieces did have a place. I just missed it, okay. I think it goes something like that. All right, so I'm gonna take my glue gun. And I think I'm gonna glue the head down the top half and I'm gonna leave this open and I will do it, I'll flip that one up afterwards. That will give me more time to place this thing down. Okay. And then grab your glue gun and kind of lift it up can you see, you can do that. Don't bend it obviously, but that just gives you more time before your glue dries up. Oop. It's nice, I mean, I'm glad we use glitter cardstock for the black because it does hide all the seams. Like he looks, he looks pretty seamless even though I know he's got a ton of cuts. 
Um, and then the glitter cardstock here really, really looks good th with the white. And even her dress, I know the skin looks the same with her dress right there, but it is different. And I think um, once you see this in person, which I'm gonna do something like this, it looks so good, I love this. Okay, I'm gonna keep on gluing. So you wanna glue down everything. Don't be too worried about those pieces. Now, I have this cool little contraption. It's the We Are Memory Keepers Quick Stick. So one side is, um, it has like little tacky right here. So I'm gonna grab my small pieces, put a little bit of glue down, and then put it back over here. And maybe I'll do this piece next. Okay, do this a little bit. I think we're almost okay. So that piece. Yeah, so this little stick right here is on my Amazon shop. So it is amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. I love this tool. This goes okay, so he's all down his hands, two pieces, and then we're done. All right, so he's completely down. Let's put her down. And I'm tempted to put everything on her down except for the cardstock, like the regular cardstock. So that's gonna be her skin and this dress right here. Cause I'm, I'm tempted to stick it through my Xyron machine to make sure that it's covered in glue so that it will stay down um, because it's on, I don't know, let me think about it. All right, let's do her hair. Okay, I did not do hair on the tip. Okay, so I need to do hair or glue up here. All right, so I'm gonna do the eye and try not to move everything. Okay, 
do this little piece right here. And this piece, uh, all right, let's, I'm gonna do just, oh, I'll do it fast. Okay, and then I'm gonna readjust a little bit because I felt it move. So I'm tempted to do this sleeve next. All right, so let's do the, I think for the hair, we can do it in pieces. We can lift this up and do the bottom. Okay, and then What's nice is you don't have to put too much glue on this red because it's pretty stiff, so it's going to stay upright. So <laughs> thankful for that. I'm going to pull this one by one. You can see how quickly it snaps down. It's really good quality. Okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna grab another glue stick, so give me a second. Okay, so this is gonna go like this, all right. Trying to be quick once I put the glue down because it doesn't give you that much time before it dries. Luckily, everything else is in place and it's giving us a visual cue. Oh, that dried really, really fast. Okay, so this is all down except for the skin color. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna put everything else down. It's still looking really, really good, huh? <laughs> okay, let's make sure that this is good. Um. I'm gonna do this piece. I'm gonna lift this one up so that I don't ruin the spacing of this. a lot of the the sticky glue so I'm moving that out of the way before so I don't get it on my project all right let's go
that was horrible. <laughs> and it it's done. Okay. So I probably should have left it in place and done half and half, but I think that's okay. Um, I will do that for this one <laughs> before I make that mistake again. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a second. I'm gonna lift this one up. Okay, that's still drying. I think everything else is down. <gasps> Looks so good, I love it. Okay, let me see what this is. All right, so I'm gonna pause it here. I will show you how to do the, I'll show you what the foam board looks like on Instagram, because I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this part yet. <laughs> I thought I knew until I saw it like this, so we will see. All right, so post your comments and questions here. If you wanna see other off the mat characters, let me know as well. Be happy to do a character that you like and the sizing that you like, and just let me know. All right, thanks guys.